So my name is Camille Boucher and my title is event coordinator here at Fred Hutch and I work with the external fundraising groups that want to bring in money for Fred Hutch. Three weeks ago, as part of my job, I was at the Paramount Theater for an annual fundraising event and I was there to help coordinate our presence on site and to help with Dr. Ode Chapuis' presentation for the evening. She was the featured speaker. And I was sitting up in the back of the auditorium watching her on my camera phone. And I couldn't believe what I was hearing because it was so eerily similar to my stepdad. It made me realize the absolute universality of cancer, the power of storytelling, and the incredible parallels that run throughout our lives. My cancer story begins when I met my stepdad, Bob. He was a firefighter and my mom met him and they dated and got married a few years later and Bob stepped in as the father figure in my life. One of my favorite memories with Bob growing up would be going out to the fire station and playing ping pong with him and uh, climbing all over the fire trucks while he was out there and having spaghetti afterwards and just running around the fire station and knowing that Bob loved us so much and loved showing his colleagues how great his daughters were. When I was 14, I remember Bob wanting to talk to my sister and I and we were in my bedroom and he said his doctor had told him something very scary and that he had stage three melanoma. I didn't know what cancer was. And now somebody, the, one of the most important people in my life could die. He was never the same again. This past Christmas, I was riding in the car with my mom and for she told me that they found something alarming in his lungs this time, which has never been the case, and that it was possibly metastasized melanoma to the lungs, and they were going to be running tests, and that she was just really happy I was there this year. And then a few weeks later, it was confirmed to be melanoma in his lungs and in his brain and he just finished his first round of immunotherapy and I've never seen him so sick in my entire life but I'm really hopeful for him because of the work that happens at Fred Hutch and the miracles that happen here and his battle is why I come to work every day. I live in a city where my friends work at Amazon, Microsoft, Boeing, Starbucks, and in part the reason why I do what I do is to honor him